All right, nope, today's episode's not about cooking. Uh, that was just breakfast that I had for dinner. It was really good. Now I'm heading out into the garage where I'm getting stuff as ready as I can for uh, tomorrow, because I'm leaving tomorrow afternoon to head over the mountains over to the valley here in Oregon. Uh, there is a sprint enduro on Saturday, and uh, I'm gonna enter that. It's in the Tillamook uh, forest area, Browns Camp OHV. Should be a really good time. So right now I just have kind of my stuff back here. Most of it's kind of packed up. I'm just gonna go through my bins, make sure I've got what I need right now, and uh, get as packed up as I can before heading out tomorrow. Okay, so this is the tote that I use. Uh, I've got my some, a couple pairs of goggles in here. I've got some tear-offs and some spare lenses. Even though they usually don't allow tear-offs, I like to bring them just in case. Uh, microfiber down in here. I've got a battery charger in case I need it. My helmet with my other goggles and gloves. Um, some Maxima uh, chain wax here and also some Maxima SC1 high gloss coating. That stuff's great for muddy conditions. Keeps the mud um, off of your bike. And then I've got some latex gloves and some rags in there and underneath my armor is uh, some assorted tools. My bike's pretty much all ready to go. Uh, it's got about maybe a half tank of gas in it right now. I'm gonna leave it at that for the first lap. I'm gonna bring gas as well. Uh, tires are all properly inflated. I think I'm pretty much good to go. I'm sure I'll inevitably forget something, um, but I just gotta pack up some other, other things. I'll be ready to hit the road tomorrow afternoon, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow when we head out. All right, it's Friday. Just loaded up the bike and some of the gear in the back, and I'm gonna load up a couple more things in the truck, and then we're gonna hit the road. I also just got these awesome straps, courtesy of the Moto Shop. A little bit sturdier than ratchet straps, so I'm gonna try them out on this trip and see how they do. All right, uh, just got on the road. Got about a three hour drive ahead of me. The good news is that it looks like the weather is gonna hold, uh, potentially. It looks like it should only rain in the afternoon, but we'll find out. It looks like the weather over the past should also be good as well. Um, so might have lucked out this weekend. So I'm gonna put some uh, miles down and get over the mountains and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Just got off the pass, uh, not too much rain, we actually lucked out. It looked like it could have been pretty bad, uh, but we kind of snuck through there, which is awesome. I'm about 20 or so minutes outside of Salem, and uh, then from there I'm gonna head to the in-laws, and that's where I'm gonna stay tonight before we head out early tomorrow morning to Brown's camp uh, for the Landfear Sprint Enduro. So I'm just gonna finish uh, this trip up here and get into town and kind of prepare tonight, and I'll catch you guys back in the morning. All right, just got on the road. Um, it's race day. I've got about an hour drive to Brown's camp. The weather looks to be holding right now. It's not raining. Um, it did rain last night, but it looks like the dirt could be perfect. So here's hoping that's the case. I'm just gonna head now to Brown's camp and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. got here at Brown's camp uh, just went and registered and got my transponder people are starting to show up now it is raining it's more of like a mist because we're kind of in the clouds here so it's just gonna get all over everything all over the goggles uh, and GoPro I'm not sure what kind of footage I'm gonna get but we'll see um, the 
writers meeting is in about 45 minutes or so and then uh, an hour after that is when the race actually starts and I'll be in the first um, kind of waves of classes in open amateur. So hopefully I'll get some good footage. Um, if not, I'm just gonna ride my best out here and put down the fastest time I can put down. All right, this is me on the GoPro now. I just went and walked up and checked around. Lots of people getting here. Still a little bit of ways away. I'm gonna make shift a little visor on my helmet and see what it do. <laughs> Loaded right now already. Alright, I'm gonna swap out my lenses and my goggles for some clear lenses because it's gonna be pretty dark. I hate changing goggle lenses. Okay, so I have these cheapo goggles that I don't much care about, so I'm gonna take the lens off of them, and I think I'm just gonna duct tape this on front here to try and cut out some of the, the moisture um, and try and keep my goggles as mist-free as I possibly can. Dang, not too bad. Look at that shit. That should be nice. Oh man. Shit, look at that.
you okay? Huh? So. You good? I don't know if I can get this thing out. You need help? Mine? Yeah. Hold on. One, two, three. Come on. Good? Yeah. batteries in the GoPro, eat something, hydrate, and then go back out for the last lap. The bike is destroyed.
Oh, oh man. Good thing for breakfasters. That's a wrap. I just loaded the bike up. I'm getting ready to get on out of here now. Uh, as you saw, pretty muddy. So I'm gonna go head to a car wash and get it cleaned up before this clay turns into cement. The conditions today turned out way better than I thought they were gonna be. It's actually sunny out right now. The mist lifted just before the first lap, which was awesome. Track was a little slick. You know, the clay was definitely slick in some sections and I had some close calls um, and wrecked once at the very end. Uh, I did stop to help somebody on my first lap too, which uh, that's a was a sketchy section. I could have went off in the in the same spot as him, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna head on out of here. This was a great time. I love this race. I'll probably be back again next year for it. But leave a comment below. Let me guys know if you liked this vlog style video, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.